Oh my gosh, I look a mess, Corey. I look so tired. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, yes, I do. Look at how I miss. Don't be trying to hide out the, <laughs> the frame. So, earlier today, I've been kind of really like in a funk because, um, you know, obviously my situation right now and uh, recently coming out of a relationship. And I guess I wanted to ask you a question or two. Uh, just because I need like someone else's outside opinion on stuff. And obviously I'm trying to go a new direction with my YouTube channel right now. So I have a question. The question is, what is it about me that makes people not want to be in a relationship with me? I really don't know. I know my reason for not being in a relationship with you, but I don't know other people's reason. Well, me and you go back a long time. Like that's, we were like teenagers. Yeah. So it's not, I don't, I mean, honestly, I know I've like played around a lot about this stuff, but I, I'm not necessarily, you're not like somebody I'm trying to pursue like that. So that's why I kind of, but I do, you know, since we do have kind of a history-ish, then I do feel like you're one of the perfect people to ask a question, you know, questions about me. And it's like, what what do you think? Okay. But Maybe that's nearly be... impossible for me to answer because I don't know what you're like in a romantic relationship setting. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll give you a couple things that my ex didn't like. Mm -hmm. I'll try to explain the scenarios and then tell me, tell me, I guess, if I'm wrong in these scenarios or, or, if yeah like what what was your opinion of these scenarios and i'll try my best to be very um non-biased you know in these scenarios so i think i told you one before but i'm gonna like reset it for this the purpose of like my viewers and stuff like that um so one of my scenarios is there was a recently me and her were trying to figure out how i could come to florida with her to be able to spend her last trip in Florida because you know she's a flight attendant and we uh, were having a good day um, like the day before we had just went to the zoo with the kids and I had, we also had came back from a trip to Austin and we were all in everything was like a positive vibe so now it's the next day and I had to go to school that morning it, but when I got out of school the whole time I was just thinking like I just want to spend time with this person because I'm it's like my last day being able to see her for like another week and it kills me when I'm not there to see her you know while she's gone so I got on the phone and I asked her you know hey uh, do you want to like you want to go take some pictures it was like a bright sunny day I was like hey you want to go some, take some pictures at the park and she was like yeah let's do that she was on like the north side handling some business so um, we were like yeah let's, let's meet at the park we felt like that was a good midway area and we were going to meet so while we're on the phone, I was like, oh, and by the way, I was like, you know, I was thinking since, you know, I think you're, I know you're going to be going back to Florida tomorrow. Um, why don't, what if uh, I ride back with you? Because our flights are free. I was like, why don't, why don't I ride back with you to Florida and we hang out there for a day? And then I'll, I'll probably fly, fly back that next morning because I wasn't sure when she actually has to actually be at work. Because it was my understanding that she was going back like a day earlier or something. So she gets she starts to explain to me why I can't come and that was because she said that she was struggling to even get herself on a flight she was gonna be on standby and the flight that she was on standby had all the seats filled up and I was just like okay well you know I, I get it let's just try to figure out how I can get on the next flight she got mad she was like you're, you're not letting me fully explain I said I like fully explain what like you're, you're telling me I can't get on the flight I saw the, like I get it let's figure out how can we get on the next I can get on the next flight she was she kept being like like, no, you don't understand. You don't never want to hear what I have to say. You never want to hear what I have to say. So I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I don't care. So I was like, what? I was like, I am letting you speak. Like, you're saying I can't get on a flight. I'm saying let's figure out how to make on a, give me another flight. Maybe like one after you or something like that. Maybe if I even had to go before you or something. And she just didn't want to talk about it no more. Because she was just so hung up on the fact that she didn't get to finish whatever she was trying to say. Even though I did give her opportunity after she said that to start speaking but she chose not to talk anymore and then she hung up in my face so then that was like 12 o'clock p.m 
the rest of the day goes by. Uh, it was my mom's birthday, so I focused on help celebrate my mom's birthday. Got some food for my my mom's. Did like a little surprise party. Told everybody to come to the house. They came to the house, and she she showed up like last minute. She was the last person out of everybody to show up to help celebrate my, celebrate my mom's birthday. And I hadn't talked to her for like seven or eight hours. So she was there at the party for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes at the most, and then she ended up leaving early with the girls. So I'm just, and she's not really still not talking to me. So I'm like, what is going on with her? I just figured we don't want to argue in front of everybody. I'm going to go talk to her at the house. Maybe that's, you know, enough time should have gone by, in my opinion, where we should be able to have a decent conversation. Yeah. So I uh, kind of get in the car right after her and I follow her and the girls all the way back to the house. We get to the house and I'm pulling into the, the garage and she's basically pulling out of the garage. And I get out the car and I look at her like, what's up? She's like, I gotta go buy costumes for the girls because I know Halloween is coming up and the school said that they can wear costumes at school. And I was like, kind of thinking to myself, well, I mean, I could have did that because I'm usually handling all this stuff with the girls anyway. Like you have to, I know you have to be getting ready to go take a flight or something soon probably. But she's not telling me anything. Mind you, that was the, the first sentence I really got from her since she hung up on me earlier that day. So she pulls out. It's like 9 o'clock. She, she leaves to go get costumes at 9 o'clock at night. And then she doesn't come back home until about 11. So I'm in bed at this point watching TV or Netflix or whatever I was doing. And I heard her come in the garage and then go like in the living room. She Usually she comes directly into the bedroom because our door is right in front of the garage. So instead of coming in the bedroom, she went, goes into the living room and I hear her like moving things around and I'm thinking maybe she's just doing something in the kitchen. And then eventually about an hour goes by and I realize she never came in the bedroom. It's like now midnight. And I'm like, what is going on? So I'm like, I, I need to go talk to her. You know, I have been waiting for her to like be able to come and talk long enough. Let me go initiate the conversation. So I get out the bedroom, open the door. I go in the living room and she is literally just laying on the couch with a, a blanket and a pillow sleep and I'm like now I'm I'm ticked off because I'm like I have been waiting since 12 o'clock p.m. to talk to you and you're blatantly not trying to talk to me no more you don't want to say anything now it's 12 a.m. and you're not saying you're still not talking so I cut on the light like what is going on like I'm your partner why don't we just talk about what's going on it's simple to just talk about it she's like it doesn't matter what I say you're not gonna let me speak so I'm just gonna go to sleep there's no point in talking and I'm like, what? Like, I am trying to get on a good page right now. We've been on a good page for like two days. Why can't we just talk again? She doesn't want to hear it. So I don't try to force it. I'm like, you know what? Maybe she's still just mad somehow, and I'm just going to still try to give her some space. So I cut off the light. I let her go back to sleep in the living room by herself. I go in the room, and I lay down. Then I wake up around 3 o'clock because I'm hearing something moving. I'm not sure if I'm, it's a dream or not. And I wake up to see in our bedroom door closed. And I'm like, what is going on? So I get out of the bed. And I check the time. It was 3 a.m. And I'm like, I don't, like, what the hell? So I, I, I get out the, go, go into the garage because I'm hearing her in the garage. And I pretty much catch her in the middle of packing, putting all her stuff in the car. Like all of her uh, travel stuff. She's in her full uh, uniform for the, the flight she works for. And... She's basically trying to get her to get in the car. I'm like, are you serious right now? You're not going to talk to me? Like, I've been waiting to talk to you. And you're just going to blatantly not say nothing and get in the car without what I was supposed to just wake up to you not being here anymore? So I'm like, what is going on? She's like, I don't have time to argue. I don't have time to talk. I, I'm going to miss my flight. And uh, oh, and by the way, your ring is on the dresser. The ring that our, which our, was our engagement ring that she was wearing and which is a whole nother story but she decided to take it off and she put it on the dresser and she gets in the car backs out and I don't hear anything from her for the rest of the day so my question is and I, I after that like that's kind of like really what started us to have a downward spiral and starting to officially be like you know we should split and go our separate ways but I just want to know like was I wrong in this scenario to let her go that whole day without talking to me or what what was there something that I had did at some point like how can I write my wrong if she feels like I'm not letting her talk what was I supposed to do okay I don't feel like you did anything wrong personally I feel like when you're in a relationship with someone a healthy relationship 
y'all are adults you should be able to speak to your partner regarding whatever it is the good the bad the ugly come to an understanding all that good stuff right if i'm a flight attendant and my partner is wanting more time with me and he's saying like hey you know i'll fly out on one night i'm gonna make a way because that's my partner that's my person that's who i want to be with now if it was somebody that i was just with just for being with sake i'm gonna find every excuse there is in the book as to why you cannot come out there then i'm gonna stir up some shit as so so you don't come out there so you were not wrong you were trying to communicate so do you feel like it was a, a, a argument that she started on on purpose or she, let, she sure. let go that far on purpose for sure because how easy was it for her to put that ring on the on the dresser that was something that y'all could have discussed but it got to the point where silent treatment si I mean I understand people being upset and having to collect their thoughts and stuff but to try to sneak out of the house while you're there the girls were there right yeah sneak that come on that doesn't make any sense well, my, at all. my thing is like i i've had these i have moments like with her like throughout our entire relationship we've had these moments where if she just feels like how, how do i explain it she feels like the moment that she wants to talk like in within the moment of us actually having the, the conversation or wherever the argument is leading is leading to in that moment if i don't address it the way she wants me to address it right then and there then she refuses to have any more conversations about whatever it is until she decides to have the conversation she's like she's always has to be in control of whatever the the, the issue is and most of the time it's she never can just calm her ass down she has to sit here and be mad for like days honestly yeah it don't just be a day like a normal person or like a, a few hours in my opinion like what i think a normal person would do she has to be mad for days weeks even and before she can even start to act like it doesn't bother her but to be honest with you when i really think about everything we've ever gone through she never lets anything go she can at the drop of a dime recall anything that has ever been a, a issue between me and her and, and make it seem like it's still been an issue and never has went away she has just only been pretending that it's so not an how, issue anymore. let me ask you something how is it supposed to be dealt with if it's not spoken about I, when you're sweeping stuff under the rug it's not dealt with it's still there she doesn't feel like i hear her like i can blatantly try to repeat what she says word for word and then it, the minute by the time i i she feels like i actually do hear her then her new thing in the stage in the argument is well it doesn't matter now that you know because i i shouldn't have even have had to even had this moment in the first place so now she's mad about that like let's first let's say like i just make something up let's say she doesn't like peanut butter on her on her peanut butter jelly sandwich and if i make the mistake and put peanut butter on her jelly sandwich she'll be mad about it right so then i'll i'll be like you know what my bad let me make you a new sandwich i'll make i'll just put nothing but jelly on it and give it to her but then she's the type of person that'll be like okay yeah thank you now but you already made one with the peanut butter before and that's what i'm mad about like i don't care what you do now i'm still just mad that you would even have the audacity to put peanut butter on this and you know i didn't like peanut butter yeah and you know i don't like pe exactly well, so that is so she, she can petty and childish that is not of a sound adult mindset at all that is of someone who just wants to get back get back at you that's just what it is well yeah you corrected you're wrong but that doesn't even matter you know what matters is you already fucked messed up yeah that's not okay that and that's what she she'll hold me to this thing of like we should have never even you should have never even messed up in the first place i want to be with the type of person that wouldn't even even thought to have put peanut butter on in the first place, or the type of person human. that would have never cut me off when i was talking you would have just let me speak the whole time but we're human and then she tries to she tries to relate every argument to a previous argument saying to try to make it seem like there's a pattern like like i'm not learning or i'm not things aren't getting better or something and are you a child no okay <laughs> so it just i don't know that's just like one of the many things i, I just want to know because like 
I actually been replaying a lot of the things, issues that have happened to us in our relationship. And, you know, I feel like she wants to she wants to be with this person, this imaginary person in her mind that is just perfect for her, where she they don't have to her and this person don't have to go through any type of learning phase. This person just automatically comes in this pre-made box where they just they just totally just understand and just get her without saying anything. Without having to learn her at all. They just know her. And that's what frustrates her about me is that I had to go through a phase of learning her. And then here's another here's another thing. Okay, here's 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 one more thing that she always she would she brings up to this day about something that I've done wrong. And the example was, and it was it's another simple thing, but mind you, to me it's simple, to her it's huge. And that is when we first moved into the house that we we were staying in together. I de I never really knew the day for the trash can to be pulled out to the side of the street. So I went a solid like I would say two, maybe at the most three weeks, of not knowing when the trash can is supposed to go out. It was like every Friday morning, right? On Thursdays, I would just completely blank out. Don't remember Friday morning. I'm rushing to get to school or rushing to get the girls to school, and I just make make it to school, and then I'll get a text message like, "You didn't pull the trash can out." Like why? Why would you? What kind of man doesn't even think about taking out the trash? And I'm like, dang, my bad. I, I didn't. I keep forgetting when it is. Like I, I'm gonna try to stay on top of that. So, like that fourth week, I start putting like a, a note on my phone to let me know yeah. I need to take out the trash on Thursday night or Friday morning. And so I start remembering that way. Like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to take out the trash. So every single Friday since that time, and it had been months. Every single Friday since, like, I, I want to say, like, April maybe or May, I've been taking out the trash. She don't even, half the time, she don't even remember or even realize that I've taken it out already. So there's been times so she's te texting me, like, hey, did you take out the trash? I'm like, yeah, I did. Right? So here's the thing. She still brings up me not taking out the trash for those three or four weeks at the most that I didn't take out the trash. And she'd be like, it's stuff like that that I'm talking about. Like, why would you never, Why? what kind of man at the, in the first, in the whole, what kind of man would have never even thought about taking out the trash in the first place or not known to be on top of things like that? And I'm like, why well, does that even matter? All, I don't, I, I have already corrected that, but it still bothers you. That's belittling. And so she would, she would say. She's not even giving you no credit for it. Oh yeah. That's. She does it all to me all the time. But what she does is she'll hold it over my head and be like, I can't even really enjoy the fact that you actually do take out the trash now because we had to go through the stage of where, where you didn't take it out first. So because I had to go through that stage, that's what bothers me all the time. And I can't enjoy the fact that you actually do it now. What? Yes. When I first moved here, we've been here for almost a year and I still be forgetting to take the trash out. <laughs> I have never forgotten a day after that. So... If someone remembers, I'm just going to be grateful for it because I don't remember because I have a lot that I'm doing. But she has all these standards of what she just felt like I automatically would just bring to the table. And instead of let it, allowing me to make mistakes or allowing me to learn without and holding up my head mistakes. and correct it, once I get to the corrected stage and things are good now... You it doesn't matter to her. It. it don't matter to her. She she will continue to go back to being like, but and you, don't but you still did. It. But I mean, at one upon the time, once upon a time, you were doing this, and that's why. I, even though you take out the trash, I don't really care because you did it at the very beginning. I, every time I every time I see the trash can on the side of the road now, it just reminds me of when you didn't take out the trash. Like that is what I've been dealing with in our relationship. Bro, would have left that trash where it was and left her where she stood because that is just what. And it took, it's been taking me so long to realize that, like even now, how much how much manipulation that has been put on me because her, her favorite thing to tell me now is that I'm manipulating her. That's her favorite thing to say is I'm manipulating her. And I'm like, how am I manipulating you? I'm always trying to figure out what it is that makes you happier, what, what it is that I can do to right my wrongs about certain things. And it doesn't matter if I'm writing a wrong or not. It's just all about how she feels, how it's not really like it's just it's a complicated thing. Like I, it's always been so many little things like that that added up to where we are now that boiled us over into like not being together. Yeah, I don't need to be together. It's not healthy. It's not at all. But my problem is, 
I still love her and I still care about her and that's who I want to be with and I keep trying to force myself not to love her and it's so hard to do that like I had to actually block her from a couple different apps because for myself not because of her I don't even think she even cares about seeing my page like that to be honest with you it's really because I'm trying to block myself from being able to just have easy access to go see her page or go see what she's doing because one whatever she's probably doing is probably gonna hurt me and then two it's just like I don't need to keep having that habit of just being aware of what she's doing or just trying to know what's going on in her life and and what hurts even more is that the kids man I love the kids a lot so like for example I know her youngest daughter's birthday is coming up on the 22nd and I think about it every day like I want to get her a present and be able to give it to her and tell her happy birthday and just be there to celebrate it for her but I know her mom would hurry evil self is going to you know make it be like oh no you don't need to be involved in her life at all because if we're not good then you don't need to have a relationship with them because those are my kids it's just messed up it is and she's right those are her kids so do not overstep yeah i don't know but I, I appreciate you at least giving me some advice i feel like i might i might need to start asking questions like this more often because honestly for the longest part i've been our longest time i've been not i don't bring this type of stuff up in our relationship because she's always making it seem like that's the wrong thing to do uh we whatever we're going through we just need to keep it between us and she hates it when i quote unquote run my mouth about our relationship to other people but, i mean she hates it but if y'all are not coming to a solution for your problems then what's the point everything just kept, kept, kept getting swept under the rug it wasn't being dealt with appropriately but it's like I just I kept and then you're holding everything in you need someone to speak to you can't speak to your partner so if you have people that in your life that will give you sound advice then why not because she hates her business being all over the internet it's not she hates her business if people okay knowing what's no going on her life. it's the thing is right it's because she knows she's wrong it's negative stuff if it was like all what roses and stuff roses really stink in all actuality but anyways if it was just all good like oh yeah we she took in this stray dog oh she did this she'll be fine with it no when you're seeing how you really are and you know how you are but you're seeing it you have to deal with it that's the problem a lot of people don't know how to deal with that that's just what it is Well, once again, like I said, I appreciate you Give me advice. I don't want to take up all of our time hanging out uh, just talking about that specific, specific situation, but um, I think I'm going to, like I said, I think I'm going to do this more often, like, because I just want to know from other people's opinions, like, what was I doing wrong? Because honestly, it ain't even about I can about tell you what you were doing wrong. <laughs> what was I doing I wrong? I can tell you what you were doing wrong. What was I doing you wrong? You are neglecting yourself, sir. You were neglecting you. And I understand that, you know, when we get involved with people, of course, we, we want to be the best person for them. But we cannot forget about being the best person for ourselves. Because then we're going to get lost in them and their relationship. And we're going to lose so much of ourselves. And it's not a good thing. Because remember, we were our own person before we met them. And we still need to, be, still need to continue being our own person. Still need to continue doing what we love. Even in, even when you're in a relationship. If you're unable to do that, then that's not the right relationship for you. Because if somebody loves you, they're not going to stop you from doing something that you love. Especially when it's something that they met you doing. You're talking about like whenever I shoot like skits and stuff? Yep. That was a whole nother. You got distant from thing. everyone. You got distant from everyone. And I understand you love the girls. But you took on such a big role, which is what you do when you get with someone with a kid. But you overextended yourself. You absolutely did. And it was not appreciated. 
and you know it wasn't appreciated at that point it was like well let me just find somebody that I could trust well enough to be with my kids while I go do what I want to do and treat them however I want to treat them because they stay in there and they're gonna take it they're never gonna leave and if they leave then I'm gonna just find somebody else to do that you wanted the truth right yeah. that's the truth you cannot forget about you you just cannot do that and it's crazy because I was trying to find a lot of happiness within some of the stuff that was going on and trying to like plan trips uh, to get away from it all my, I had a therapist that's been telling me to take time out for myself but the minute I tried to take time out that became a whole nother scenario that I haven't even brought up yet but that it is it's been a lot man let me tell you how are you supposed to find happiness right at, I shouldn't even say happiness it should be added happiness because you should not, not get your happiness from somebody solely from somebody else you have to find happiness within yourself but how are you supposed to find added happiness within someone who is not happy with themselves she feels she's told me multiple times that I'm the thing that's making her unhappy. And if that's the thing, you should not allow somebody to tell you something twice. This person is telling you, I don't like you in so many different ways. If someone's telling you, you don't make them happy, you leave them alone. Okay, well, okay, I don't, I don't add to your happiness. I'm taking away from your happiness. Let me remove myself. You can't force somebody to be happy with you, you can't force somebody to love you. You can't do that. I never. The problem is, I never looked at it like I was trying to force it. I don't know. Because I was, she would say, you know, she's not happy with me or whatever. But then we would turn around and try to do things that are fun things to do. Like it felt like we were trying to work on our on our relationship, but ultimately it didn't. Nothing was being worked on really, because it was being swept under the rug. That's just what it is. That's crazy. You know me, I'ma tell you. I'ma tell it like a TI is. Give it to you straight, no chaser. Uh, only thing I can do now is just move forward. Yep. But like, like I said, I'm trying to learn. I, I, I want to learn all the mistakes I made in this relationship because I don't want to make them again. And it, and it was crazy. It's like she used to, she would tell me stuff. Like I, I wish I would have never told her anything about my ex-wife. Because she was always comparing herself to my ex-wife from the things that I've told her. Let me make sure it's still, I don't even know if it's still recording. Um, but yeah, yeah, she was she was always telling me like, you know, I, I wish I could just talk to your ex because I'm, I totally understand why she left the way she left. And I feel like I'm there now and I want to, I, I thought I, I thought I could be the person that wouldn't wouldn't leave you like that. But now I totally understand why she she wants to leave you like that. But who you were... 10 then years ago it's it was, not who you are now i was literally 23 exactly when my my wife left i'm 33 now exactly. i know for a fact i have matured you're not far that beyond same who I, I wasn't because little things like having a joint bank account i would have never did with my ex yeah you know um because i just was young and dumb you know thinking oh my money is my money or oh, it's gotta be me and your mm. money stuff like that no there should be a joint account but it should also be separate accounts. Right. We were we were married, first of all. Yeah, but, but even when you're married, there should be a joint account and separate accounts. Right. Well, we she she had brought up when I like I'm talking about my wife now that she had brought up us having joint accounts before, and I just completely freaked out. I thought like, dang, is she trying to take everything from me? And this is how it happens. Like guys get in this relationship and they start putting all their money in this joint account, then the woman just leaves them and takes everything. Like I've had this nervous thing, which so, is understandable. Huh. Man, you know what? I'm glad you said that because so me and me and my ex, current mm -hmm. ex, current most current ex, mm -hmm. we have a joint account. And when we went to go get a joint account, no, not like I, there's no money in it right now. Oh, I, no. I made sure I haven't been putting nothing in there, but we had a joint. We have a joint account right now. Currently, still haven't. I need to actually. I need to go uh, probably cancel it, whatever. But I had we had a joint account and. Before that, before we did it, the day we were doing it, we were in the parking lot and we had an argument. The argument was because she was trying to tell me that, hey, let's go get a joint account. Um, My bad, y'all. I don't even know when to stop, but 
you were saying okay she was giving me advice about the joint account so the thing. joint accounts that's why i said you have one mm -hmm. joint account and y'all still have your separate accounts joint account is for household stuff bills right, mortgage right. groceries whatever y'all putting an x amount mm -hmm. y'all settle with it and then that's it my mother always said your right hand doesn't know what your left hand that doesn't need to know what your left hand is always doing it doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter how long you've been with somebody there's a lot of that stuff certain things needs to be left in, in the past if it's not gonna hurt your partner leave it where it's at but you are very valid for the way that you felt because it's been many of times where people use each other as meal tickets they will come in they will see your greatness they'll see how far that you could go and they'll see how they could capitalize off of you it's sad but it's the truth people will wait they know okay this is not who I want to be with but I have my end goal and my end goal is to come out of this on top I'm gonna get all what I could get out of this and I'm gonna leave so the way you felt about the joint account is very much valid because there are some evil and vindictive people out there. That was valid. Not to mention, uh, I have a friend of mine who I saw, he was a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And I saw how crazy his divorce became and how she basically emptied out their accounts. Like thousands, tens of thousands of dollars she took out in one day. And he never had access to that money again. She just dipped on him. Never saw her again. And which is why I said it's valid. It's valid. And then y'all ain't even married, bro. Y'all don't share the same last name. Y'all don't share no kid. Y'all don't share none of that that's stuff. That's a whole man. I was. I so, really was treating her like this is my wife, though. That's the yeah. crazy. Like I really was so so invested into her that I really looked at her like this is my wife, even though. We were only engaged, you know, and living together. I Mind y'all, I didn't even know they were engaged, but that's the story for another time. Oh, I didn't tell you that? I never told no, you No, you that. told me, but uh, I didn't know y'all were engaged for that long until you had mentioned it. Because, yeah, that's the story for another time. Yeah, that's a whole other time. We'll we get to that another that. time. But yeah, I do I do appreciate you, Shanta, for at least always being there as a friend. Of course. And having my back about stuff. And I, I don't think... I, I tried to be as honest with this story as possible and tried to say everything that I did wrong because I, I didn't want to make it seem like, oh, just because you're my friend, you're going to just be telling me. Guys, I'm not biased at all. <laughs> when Corey's wrong, I tell him when he's wrong. Yeah. And I have no problem like admitting if someone tells me I'm wrong, I can hear what you have to say. And then I will try to, if anything, I'm going to try to ask questions on like what, what can I do to improve myself? Because I think out of everybody in my life, people have seen the prog progress that I made in a short amount of time and I think I proved that I'm willing to change and, and uh, get like upgrade myself and I, I guess I feel like the, the one person who I wanted to benefit the most from that was that per that one person and it just I think what hurts me the most is that she's not gonna be there to see it she didn't want it she didn't want it remember she called you a sugar daddy Yeah. 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 Alright, I think I'm gonna end the video on that note, y'all. Till then I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh hope you guys I ain't gonna say are enjoying what this the where I'm going with my YouTube channel, but I just need to start putting more of my like real life out there and um hopefully by what somebody can watch this video and learn from my mistakes. And maybe if you're currently in a, in a relationship like the one I just got out of, maybe it can help you understand what's really going on. We got to have more talks like this. Yeah, because sure. I have great advice. <laughs> <laughs> what can I, wait, hold on. Where, where can everybody follow you? Oh, um, what? You don't want anybody to follow you? Instagram, roll with the nation. The link will be at the bottom. Oh, my gosh. She's trying to act shy. She is <laughs> not shy. She didn't, we didn't do videos and all kind of skits together. What are you doing? Because I look a mess. Okay. <laughs> anyway. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later on in the next video. Peace.